Hello, and thank you for tuning in today. Uh, we're going to look at the Ugreen um, HDMI uh, switcher. Uh, this is a three-in-one output switcher. The, this is part of the impression series on this channel where I look at different products and their specifications um, and share how I use them uh, in my work and their uh, private life and also suggest you know ways uh, other people can use them as well. What I noticed is that every time I want to buy a product I'm always having to go to YouTube to see what the product looks like um, so uh, I'm hoping that this uh, presentation today will help someone and um, in your uh, purchasing decision because uh, I've had a lot of benefits uh, by going through YouTube uh, to to look at uh, these products. So opening the box, uh, you can see uh, there's a spread over here. So one of the things this box contains is um, a remote control from uh, for the HDMI. Uh, splitter. We also have the HDMI splitter itself uh, with the three ports, the three output ports and one input port. You will also get, um, I believe this is a micro USB cable yes is a micro usb cable it's for um access uh, this is the power um access to the usb hub um i believe we can function without the without power uh, but power will keep the signals and uh, everything consistent uh, on the hub and finally you get the the receiver uh, for the remote control this is an IR receiver, an infrared receiver uh, with the uh, plug that plugs straight into, into the hub. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll just put everything away and um, plug this in and uh, see, see how it works. Uh, the main reason why I bought this hub is so that I can connect a few of my devices, uh, my monitor at home has um, a, a single, it has a two, US, uh, two HDMI ports. Uh, so I want to multiply one of the ports into uh, a couple of devices. So in terms of design, uh, the port is black, it's an all black. Uh, this is a plastic uh, material for the splitter. It measures about um, 9 cm to by 5.5 centimeters. And like I mentioned earlier, it contains, it has a uh, three HDMI um, output ports and one uh, HDMI input port. It also comes with um, a uh, button, a switching button, and a couple of uh, LED lights indicators to tell you which port is active at any point in time. You also get the micro USB uh, plug here uh, for the power uh, connection. It doesn't come with a, a power adapter, so you have to find um, an adapter or a USB uh, a socket for it. Then you also have the port uh, for the RFID uh, connector. Uh, this device uh, can only work for HDMI uh, 1.4, so it does not uh, work for HDMI 2.0. It is plug and play, um, so it will work straight uh, once you plug it in. And from uh, when I bought it for in Amazon, uh, the details they provided there is that it will work for PlayStation 4, and three, I don't believe it will work for the new PlayStation 5. It will work for laptops, you know, DVD players, computers, 
it worked for Xbox. I don't know if I don't think it worked with the newer Xbox uh, series that is out, and it worked for um, you know smart TV uh, devices like Roku and um, you know most HDMI uh, connectors. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is uh, I'll plug this in now and try it out, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So now I have everything set up. Um, apologies for the mess on the, on the desk. Um, so this is the splitter. I have uh, HDMI input here coming from my uh, tablet. I have uh, a HDMI input here coming from my laptop. So this is all connected to the output straight into uh, the monitor that we have here. So um, with the HDMI uh, connector, uh, you have two ways of operating it. So you could either use uh, the, the button that we have here, or you could use the remote control. So the IR uh, connector is as well is all plugged in and the HDMI uh, power is also uh, plugged into the, the, the splitter. So I have the laptop on HDMI one, which is what is currently showing here. Uh, so if I want to switch over to DeX on my uh, tablet 7 plus, um, that is on HDMI two and um, it switches over. I don't have anything currently plugged into HDMI three. So if I press that, there'll be no input coming from any of those devices. But if I want to go back to my laptop, I press one and uh, it goes straight to uh, the laptop. So this this connector is uh, is great. Um, I look forward to using it. Um, it's quite portable as well. So my intention is, is, is to get a, um, a double-sided tape um, and just you know stick it to uh, the back of uh, of my monitor and um, and and just plug all these things in. Um, and um, I'll see how it goes. Um, fortunately, it's not HDMI 2, so it will not work with some of the new uh, devices, but um, I don't mind. Uh, most of my devices are quite compatible, and most of the new devices will probably be more compatible with uh, HDMI uh, 1.4 because some of those are downward compatible. So, yeah, so this is the device. Um, uh, hopefully, uh, this demonstration and uh, the showings will help you in your purchasing decision. And uh, thank you uh, for watching. Um, I'm, I'm curious to know who out there, if anyone has used the device in the past. Uh, so, you know, feel free to put some comments in the comment section and let us know uh, what you think of the device. And um, if you have any question also, uh, let me know and uh, I'll try to answer them in the comment section. And um, thank you for watching. Please uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you another time. Thank you.